Hello and welcome to the Mass Tort Update. Greeting you from vacation this week. But in health, a British study finds that children exposed to air pollution face serious risk of cancer. Oil refineries using highly toxic hydrofluoric acid are putting millions of Americans at risk, according to the results of a study by the U.S. Public Interest Research Group. A report released by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation found that one in three of the nation's millions of uninsured children go a year without medical care. The pharmaceutical industry's trade group announced a voluntary plan to restrict consumer drug advertising. And in new cases, the families of seven people who died in an immigration smuggling attempt that resulted in 17 deaths have filed suit against Great Dane Trailers, Salem Truck Leasing, and the driver of the truck. This may be a signal for future litigation to come. All eyes this week are on Texas and the Vioxx case, where closings are expected. Today and tomorrow, Mark Lanier is expected to present his rebuttal case, and we'll keep you updated as things re uh, progress. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Oakland will pay $56 million to settle 56 civil cases against its priests while Time Warner set aside $3 billion to settle fraud claims by shareholders who lost money after the company's 2001 merger with American Online. Canadian Imperial Bank will pay $2.4 billion to settle claims that it helped the fraud investors by hiding Enron's corporate accounting fraud. And very little going on in legislation this week because the legislators are on break most places around the United States Unfortunately, that seems to be good news for consumers. Should you have any questions or need any assistance, you can contact us by clicking on the box below. We'll see you next week when back from vacation. Thank you and have a great day.